Welcome to another episode of Backstage Business. This is James Sinclair. Following the Entrepreneurs Network and Party Man. Let's go! We're here at Party Man World 1. We are in the big city. We are here at Pimlico Palace. We're here at Busy Bees HQ. Now we're at the EN HQ. We're here in Liverpool. Right, Chudders, here we are. Hard hat on. And we're here at Party Man's Fort Fun. Back with my glasses again. Not even real. Not even real. Here I am in Nottingham here uh, at Marsh Farm Animal Adventure Park because we've now arrived in Denmark. We've got on an aeroplane and here we are in Africa. Here we are in Canada. Uh, here up in Liverpool. And we are here at the O2. Hey gang, here we are in the best city in the world. Look at this. Right guys, here we are. Junkyard Golf. Here we are at Novotel uh, in Heathrow. And we're about to get on the train here at Battersea Bridge. Here we are at Blake's head office here in London. Here we are at the Peter Jones uh, Foundation Academy. We're here today at EM members, grab it and run. We're in Tottenham Court Road. I don't know if you see, this is the capital city, greatest city in the world, isn't it, Chuddington? We just arrived at National Forest Adventure Farm here in London Town, best city in the world. We're in one of my kitchens today. Here we are at Top Golf. Here at Twizzle Top Stay Nurses. Here we are, all these people behind me getting ready for foundations, my business. And we're on the way to uh, Dinosaur Adventure Park. Hey, gang, welcome to Cardiff. Here we are, gang, in West London. And we're into London again today. We're just here at the XL. Get that in, Chudders. Get that in. Look at that. That's where we're going today. And here we are in front of this place is the Grove. And here, the trees grow in squares. Look at this chudders. Chudders. It's like something out of a Doctor Zeus comic book, isn't it? Hey, hey. I wanted to just let you know that all the stuff here is all experience-based stuff. Nothing is based on theory. It's all stuff that I've done. Uh, it's all stuff that I continue to do. Um, and we're by no means perfect. You know, we're by no means, we've got things to do at Party Man that we need to do better. There are things in our day nurseries we need to do better. In EN, there's things that we need to do better. There's always improvements to be had in every business, but we're making a good go of it, gang. That's what we're doing. We're always continuously improving and that's one of the sort of secrets of success this is a new thing that I've coined this new phrase that I keep using all the time a secret of success is definitely continuous improvement at heart they're now visitor attractions and I reckon their retail spend head and their photos <laughs> Do it again. Start again. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm carrying on. <laughs> oh, this is a good song. Come on, Frank. Oh, that's sharp, isn't it, that? Yeah, to be successful, that, that, that different, you know, lots of solopreneurs out there that don't really break through to the big success like you've achieved. So if there's one thing that separates people that, you know, get that yeah, big... Never giving up. Never giving up. Never giving up. A relentless. relentless. I would say my journey is a relentless pursuit of success or failure. I don't yeah. recognise failure. So failure for me, there's no such word. Yeah. There's only feedback. Good so. Stuff. Yeah, being relentless is, and never giving up. Do you, do you feel, or just one more quick thing, do you feel people have got entrepreneurial DNA or do you think you can teach it? Or have they got a certain talent? No, I think there are some people with entrepreneurial DNA, but yeah. I truly believe that everybody can be more enterprising and entrepreneurial. It can be taught, Brilliant. without a doubt. I'm a massive fan of yours. He's very good, he's got a future in presenting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice view, isn't it? Steve Jobs from Apple. He's famous for his great talks and stuff of where they're going to go through in the next year for Apple. People book these tickets miles in advance just to know the story of where they're going to go to. Walt Disney, Stelios, Richard Branson, great people. That's a great story. And they attract the people to build the company because you can't do it on your own. You need great people to build businesses. Not just a one man army, not just the entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship plus management equals success. That's it. There we go. It's very, very simple. Now, here's the thing. Here is the thing, gang. You could build a million pound business that's really lovely, that employs, say, 10, 12 people, that can pay you out a couple of underground a year, 
But if you go to two million, you might then only earn a hundred thousand pound a year. And this happens again and again and again. And I like to explain it to people, this is really crucial. You either have one restaurant or a hundred restaurants. So what happens over time is one of two things. Number one, the venture capitalists get involved like they did with Facebook, like they did with Costa, like they did with Twitter, like they did with LinkedIn, like they did with pret a like they did with Strada, like they did with Pizza Express, like they did with Merlin Entertainments, that own Legoland and Fort Park and all these, Blackstone, VC, give them all the money to just go, yeah, go buy, buy, buy. The VCs come in or the original entrepreneur goes, stuff this, I'm returning back to where I knew I was happy. I just have me one restaurant. Uh, I don't know, you know, I don't just like saying cocky, but you've got to be confident. And I just believe we'll grow into it, you know what I mean? I really do. It's like the PR department. Every department we've got expanding, isn't it? Yeah. All around, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I'm a great believer, you know, the best way to um, succeed in business is to employ people. You know, I don't know many successful people, one man band no. makes fortunes, but, you know, and I'm a great believer in employing people. And I, I know it sounds corny, cool I said it earlier, but I honestly believe that, you know, your business is as good as the people you've got working for you. A couple of things happening over here. This guy over here, Mark Creaser, he's our apprentice copywriter. <laughs> Uh, he's, our, that, he's our apprentice copywriter. I've just been teaching oh, well, a thing or two <laughs> about structure and <laughs> putting words together. So look, I'm standing up for attention right now. Suppose if you if you think you get a degree of business years underneath your belt, sometimes schools ask you to go in and speak to the kids, which I, I love doing. And uh, so then I wrote a book, and I called the book "The Millionaire Clown," uh, uh, about you know that anyone could do it if they put you know some dedication to it. Yeah, so look, it's always important to be smart at work, and um, you should try it. That's an arsehole, How long was he on for? Sorry, about half an hour. No. I was. <laughs> That's really shit on the deal. <laughs> the shittiest holiday ever, Channels. <laughs> oh, please don't make you laugh. <laughs> Now for now. <laughs> Business is a marathon, it's not a sprint. You're running a marathon, but you don't know where the finish line is. And if you watch people run marathons, it's bloody hard work, but they keep going because oh, only three more miles left to go. And so really what you want to do is you, you want to dedicate some time to committing to paper of what your business looks like when it's finished, starting with the end in mind, if you like. And then you make far smarter decisions because if you're a little bit entrepreneurial, when people offer opportunities, you take them up and that, and that can be dangerous. Yeah, everyone, everyone expects instant gratification. It's not always the case. Cheryl, come over here. This is Cheryl. She's here live on Backstage Business. That's it. Look at the camera, Cheryl. There she is. She's on Backstage Business. New member of the Entrepreneurs Network. She's soaring to success. She loves being here. Mwah! Thank you very much. Cheryl's on backstage business now. No, no, no. You knew if you had that many it's not about the general. cash. It's not about a business plan. It's not about anything. It's allowing yourself to actually have the ability to think and be a little bit visionary. It doesn't actually have to be about this. Is about everything in life, you know. If you think about, you know, oh, I want to do a degree at university and then I come out and I'll be a doctor or a lawyer. That that's sort of visionary thinking. You don't. You know, the people that don't do well at university are the people that just say, well, I'm just going to go to university to kill a few years. Like the people that do well, it says, <laughs> there's a plan, you know, to come out and that's just part of the, the journey to get to where they want to get to. It, it, it's frustrating for me to try and say, look, I, I end up telling people, like, what I really want you to do is go and find a hotel, uh, go out and, you know, spend a couple of hours, get a piece of paper and really plan what your future looks like uh, and then come back and then you can... So, so all entrepreneurs are battle planners rather than war planners. I keep, this is the thing I keep talking about. They just plan battle after battle with real, you know, what, what, why are we doing this? Yeah, it's like me, I will stop eating sugar when I have a six pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and every day, uh, I now do, I have a cameraman follow me around, me running my business, 
and we record an episode every day and we share that with the world just to inspire people about entrepreneurship. Uh, and for I think for the Joe public and your team members, see bloody how hard it is to build a successful organisation uh, and all the things that go into it and um, all that you have to do and how hard a work it really is. Oh, I was impressed with that. I have to admit, I was impressed with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I had a little hair that had come out now. <laughs> that, that was, come, on. <laughs> come on, let's get we've got to do this stupid video. Your stupid idea backstage business. What are we doing here, Chad? Taking over my life for you. So we just got to talk about. You've got to have staying power, resilience, the ability to never give up, the ability to work really hard and smart. So it's, you know, lots of people today just want to work smart and not hard. You need, definitely need both in abundance to be successful in business. Well, this is, this is, I like this. This is nice, this. Mm, lovely, what's it called? Well, this is called Tester. <laughs> I've not heard of Tester before. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I'll decline the offer. See you on the 19th. The, the, the running theme, just like Wayne, is if you can't do something, don't let that deter you. Find good people around you that can help you. Um, and once you've made that decision to do that, good things start happening, gang. Yeah, everyone's worried about, oh, I can't afford to employ that person. I, I can't afford to do that. I can't afford to, I couldn't afford to set this up 15 months ago, but I made a decision to do it. And I made a decision to start getting people to help me to do it and leverage off people to help me to do it. And that's how you get going. You just got to make a decision then then the good stuff starts to come. So don't think I can't afford it. Don't think, oh, I haven't got the cash to do it. This started from zero with no capital in. I went and I said to some manufacturers in China, I said, look, let's pay you over a period of time. I got the thing going. See, I got the thing going because I made a decision that I wanted to do it. There is always a way. People start from zero and you can create stuff. I was listening to Peter Jones yesterday, how he created his business from the age of 16, become a millionaire by the age he was 21, started from zero. You can start from zero. You can, you just got to find belief and get people to help you get going. It's all about hard work, determination, never giving up. Thanks for watching guys. This is Backstage Business and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.